Planet Coaster Console Edition is here. Yes, Planet Coaster is now available on a console. Officially, right now, as of this video going live, it's out on Xbox, Xbox Series X, Xbox Series S. If you're buying it on PS5, it does release on November 12th, I believe. Uh, PS4 is out now. Links to the console edition will be in the description below. Also, thank you to Frontier for sponsoring this video and for making it possible. So for this first video, I'm checking out career mode. If you guys want to turn into a full series, let me know in the comments and with the like button. For the next video, I'll be checking out the sandbox and the ch challenge mode. So look out for that. Let's begin career mode. So I believe this is actually brand new for the console edition, an actual tutorial on how to learn the basics of the game, which I'm probably gonna need because I've not played the game for a little while. Let's begin a new scenario, Green Pastures. Oh my, oh my, is that a budding theme park proprietor I see before me? I certainly hope so. Otherwise you're in quite the wrong place and none of what I'm about to say will make any sense to you. I am Oswald B. Thompson, theme park empresario, and I am here to help you take your first steps in this most exciting of professions. And because it's a first step, we're starting in a somewhat humble location. A charming little park, which as yet has not fulfilled its undoubted potential. A park where you will begin to hone your skills. How good does that park look? This is just the base tutorial park. Honestly, the it's un, it's unlimited to what you can do with this game. There's, the possibilities are endless, and I'm so pleased so, it's now on first console. Things first, so pleased. You should learn how to navigate around the park. Agree. Moving, Woo. rotating, zooming, almost as if you were riding a roller coaster, a massive invisible roller coaster. I'm rotating and I'm zooming in and out. It's, yeah, works perfect with a controller. Obviously using the DualShock 4 that. controller. You've completed an objective. Yes. Now, objectives are a bit like bosses. They tell you what you need to do, earn more money than you, and drive a sports car. No, that's not right. Anyway, how about completing another objective? I would love to do that. Uh, if I could butt in and make a suggestion, how about you make your next objective opening up literally the only ride in your park? Why is it even closed? Oh, hello, Lucy. This is Lucy Summers, one of the most enthusiastic and outspoken theme park fans in the world. She's got almost 800 followers. You know, online, not in a cult. Hi there. And it's 900, but who's counting? <laughs> So, the ride? Ah, yes. Opening rides. Go on, select the ride. With pleasure. So hold X, is that right? Good. Yes. And now, open the ride. Turn it on. It's really intuitive. The UI obviously has been changed for the console users. And yeah, I've, it's, it's really clear. I can just quickly get into the game. Work out the basics. Open the ride. Such gusto. Well Magic done. Castle. And now that we have such an adorable, gentle ride open, more guests, especially families, will soon be flooding into the park. You know, you could turn that flood into a bigger flood. This place just needs something a bit more thrilling. Well, if people want thrills, then we'll give them thrills. And possibly nausea. Okay, what are you saying here? Are we going to build a roller coaster? The highlighted area. I think it'll make an excellent location ah. for a ride. But let's ask our head engineer, Eugene. Agree. Greetings, Eugene Newton. Eugene, Good to make of your course. acquaintance. <laughs> and yes, Mr. Thompson, I think it will do nicely. The proximity to existing infrastructure appears nominal, so guests should be able to achieve both entry and exit with minimal difficulty. Good. I'm happy about this. New, round, new rides can be found in the ride browser. Right, we have our first ride we're actually going to put into the park. And place it in the designated area. Done. 
a lot of money. Now, Ouch. it's very important that when you place the entrance gate, you make sure to leave enough space so you can build a ride queue. Right, so that's the entrance, and this is the exit. Next up, connecting your ride to the park so people can reach it. There we go. That's where they line up. That's how they get to your rides. You need a path to now, get to the ride, of course. Now, that queue building is where guests will wait in line to go on the ride. Right, so we'll do a little queue here. Nothing too crazy. Again, it feels really intuitive. Love the controls. I was... With these sort of games, you always have doubts about how it's going to handle on a console. But so far, I've been very impressed. I mean, that will do for now. There we go. It's now linked. Very and now we need an exit good. as well, of course. And now you should build a path from the exit gate back to the rest of the park. Ooh, looking good. And finally, you can open the ride. Yay. No, no, that's not how we do it, is it, Eugene? Apologies. I meant... And finally, you can open the ride. That's more that's that's more like it. A bit more enthusiastic. There we go. It's open. Oh yeah, that's more like it. Yay. You can get way more teenagers like me and my followers visiting the park now. Ah, oh, don't you just love teenagers? So much disposable income. Cynthia, I didn't see you there. Please allow me to introduce Cynthia Clark. Chief Financial Officer. It's my job to make sure these places turn a profit. Speaking of which, thanks to that new ride, the park's rating has gone up. And you know what that means. Cake? We can start charging the guests more money. <laughs> oh, typical. Okay, very well. A necessary evil, I suppose. I mean, you gotta try, you gotta try and make some money. Uh, okay, guess, think, magic. Was that? Was that? Evil. I missed that. Damn Did it. you see that notification? I didn't. Even the guests think we're undercharging them. Let's do them a favor and fix that. So, how much do we increase it by? Ten dollars, good. Is that a fair price? I hope. <laughs> I hope that was a good price. Oh, so eleven. Okay. Nope, it wasn't enough. All right, we go again. To eleven dollars. Clearly, I wasn't paying attention. Look, if go. you're so worried, why don't we have your new underlings select a few guests and see what they're thinking, eh? Underling, indeed. They are a trainee, and they have a name. Although I just realised I don't know it. Inspect three guests' faults. So we might wait for them to come off the riot, and then we can inspect, see what they think of the prices. Are they happy here? What do you think of the riot? Yay! Park entry is free! I want to go on the Magic Castle. Ah. Right, so listen to the okay. See, oh, there's no food. That guest didn't seem too Oops. put off by the higher price, did they, Oswald? I guess not. Yes, but their happiness is our bread and butter. So... It's important to regularly check what the guests are thinking. They just want food, basically, right now. That's what they want. Well, I didn't see anything to worry about there. Come on, let's just hit fast forward, sit back, and let the money roll in for a while. At least until we've made a healthy profit. I don't think we have any facilities right now, so we can't add a food shop, but... Okay, fine. Um, what we can do is literally... Fast forward and watch the money literally roll in. $500 will appear like that. I am very jealous. So we currently have 338 guests. Oh, the money started to drop a little bit. Oh, no, it's gone up. <laughs> there we go. No, it's gone back down. Gain some. There we go. Well Did it. Done on hitting Cynthia's profit forecast. Honestly, I was worried it was a little high. But as always, she knows just how hard to squeeze the guests' wallets. <laughs> Yay, a bronze star. We did it. Well done, Scott. All Let's right, keep going, though. It's high time we talked about taking care of guests and improving the park. We want those guests to be happy, happy, happy. Ooh, you're planning on making improvements? That's I am. good. I didn't like to say, but part of this place looks like the theme park that time forgot. What? So, if you want to scoot over, I'll take things from here for a while. Actually, Lucy, I was about to say... Scoot, scoot. Okay, first things first. I know how I feel about the park, 
But let's see how one of the other guests is feeling. Go on, select one of the guests to see how happy they are. I select you. Okay, now that level of happiness might be good enough for most parks. But I still think this guest would be a bit happier if a big chunk of the park wasn't super lame. I mean, his happiness is full. It's not your fault. <laughs> that one's on Mr. Thompson. I hardly think that's fair. What I also love about this game is the new Frontier Workshop for the console edition works over cross-gen as well. You can upload your creations or use other people's creations, their sceneries, their rides, and put it into your park. It's a very, very cool feature because the Steam Workshop is incredible. So I'm so pleased they've done something on the console edition as well. Let's place this pirate skull rock. Uh, there we go. That's gone. Look at that little pirate camp. Beautiful. And then add the pirate treasure. I could bury it in the water. <laughs> Why not? Oh, that is a bit nicer. That is a bit nicer. Uh, I don't believe I said unscoot yet, did I? So, another place it's super important to put scenery is around the ride queues. Ah. Oh, you know what? We should compare both of your rides so we can see the difference. Go and select that first ride you opened, would you? This one? There we go. You see oh, 100%, how it's got yeah. a high Q scenery rating? Because of that, the ride's prestige is higher too. Ah. Us guests are way less interested in rides with boring cues, and so we won't pay as much to ride them. Right, now go and have a look at that new ride you built. All the way over here. Yeah, this queue's a bit more boring. Whoops. Whoopsie. Right, what is the rating on it? 33%. Okay. Ooh. So that's not nearly as prestigious as it nope. could be. But you can fix that by giving us guests some eye candy to look at while we oh, wait. Oh, look at this. Go on. Stick some nice scenery down around the queue. I'm trying to find a nice little slot. That works. Come on, admit it. Do we do it? Better? And if you check, I bet you'll see that the ride's Q scenery rating and Yay. prestige has gone up as a result. 75%. Excellent. That means we can also raise the ticket price. Oh, Go man. on. Put it up by a few dollars. How much? Oh, 30? Heck. Wow, I didn't okay. This through, did I? That's expensive. Okay, that's a big big price rise for a slightly better queue. <laughs> but I'm oh, not going to argue. My. Look at all that wonderful new scenery. It does look well good. Well done. Oh, and if I'm not mistaken, by raising this park's scenery rating, I think you might have. Yes, you have. You've raised the overall park rating. And that means more guests will be drawn to the park. Heavens, what an important number, eh? So the park rating, you can see down there, so it's currently 293. We're doing all right. Obviously, we want to increase that. Obviously, as time goes on, we can charge more for the park entry, more for the rides. We want that number to be as high as possible. Right. I think it's time we took a look at the park rating breakdown. It's a great way to track how your park is improving. So I've gone for a scenery theme of a pirate. I do like I do like the pirate stuff right now. I'm feeling the pirate vibe. Uh, where should we go with this? Something that adds a lot of scenery rating, but it doesn't take up too much space. A couple more palm trees. Like the sound of that. There we go. Beautiful, beautiful palm trees. Let's put that. Just there by uh, the payoff. There we go. That's still 45. Uh, what else can we add? Oh, I like this fountain. That is a beautiful. What a beautiful fountain. So again, you can make your own piece of scenery. I'm using the blueprints. Um, you can see the create option there. Every piece, every rock, every tree you can put together and create your own vibes, basically, which I love. Uh, pirate Band, ooh, hello. Again, it's super simple, super easy to rotate, levitate in any way you want to. Boom, 48, 
<laughs> Little pirate band, love it. Look at them. There we go. Is that a monkey? It is a monkey. A very talented monkey, some would say. Uh, and some more pirate cannons over here. Who did it? Your transformation of the park has really bumped the park rating up a good few notches, my friend. And look at all the guests, happily smiling away. And you know what they say about happy guests? They like spending money. Oh, is everything about cold, hard cash with you, Cynthia? No. Yes. I also like <laughs> stocks and Definitely. shares. Definitely. Inspect guest faults management in the park management screen. So it's under here. This is where you can Drinks. see what the average guest More needs rides. are in the park. Food as shops. As well as the most common thoughts that the guests are having. You know, it's weird. I really should think of this thing as a massive invasion of privacy, but I'm kind of okay with it. Yeesh. It looks like a lot of the guest thoughts are about how the park is missing important facilities. Huh. Okay, first up, food. According to the guest data, we're hungry. Huh. I was wondering what that empty feeling in my stomach was. So go on. Build a food shop for us. Yes. I can do it. I would 100% want to do this right now. I love food. <laughs> right, let's go. Yeah, put one down for now. Uh, this is a burger store. People love food. They want to spend money. Right, again, I think this is quite a good little place here. Uh, where's the front? Ah, oh, there it is. <laughs> Couldn't find you for a second there. He's ready to go. He's ready to sell those burgers. Pretty happy with that position. Boom. There we go. That's the food sorted. Done. But a bunch of us guests are also really thirsty. So ah. you should definitely build some drink shops. I agree. Do we have some options? Yes, a we do. Advice. Put your shop somewhere busy so we get the best return on our investment. Sorry, I mean best serve our guests needs, blah blah blah. <laughs> blah blah oh, blah, yeah. money. Real convincing. Shop vendors don't work for free. We have to turn a profit. I was hoping to slot it next to it, but it doesn't quite fit. So what I'm going to do is put it on the other side. Put it like roughly here-ish. That works. That is a good park. This is our little food court. Oh, buy two drinks. Okay, maybe we can do that. Maybe put the other drink store somewhere else. <gasps> Sprinklers! Got to keep the grass fresh. Let's go for... Some slush. Slush puppy! Not had one of these in so long. I was a massive fan of going to the cinema before 2020, getting a Tango Ice Blast, and watching a film. Oh! I took that for granted. I really did. Done. About time. My blood sugar was almost down to a healthy level. If you want to make sure that you've got all our needs licked, you can look at the guest needs screen again. Personally, I am absolutely stuffed with both food and drink, so I'm good. So she's feeling good. We bought two drink stores. Any other requirements? Now, <clears throat> Without more rides. Yeah. Toilets. All that food and drink means we have another pressing guest need to ah. attend to. Toilets. Yeah, like really pressing. Quickly, build a toilet for the guests. Do it. What? A whole toilet? You're spoiling us, Mr. Thompson. So this is the fairy tale toilet. I'm gonna stick it out of the way because obvious reasons. The smell. <laughs> you know, there we go. A nice toilet. Great, but it'd be nice if us guests had somewhere else to sit down too. Benches, benchy, benches. I'm again. I'm going for that whole pirate vibe right now. So yeah, barrel benches will do. There we go. Nice benches along the pier. Might be nice to have a few by the um, the food stores. That would make sense. There we go. Enjoy sitting down. Spend all your monies. Now that your guests have a good day. fulfill their needs in the park, they're less likely to become unhappy, which is great. But as more guests come here, you'll need even more facilities to deal with their needs. More than one toilet? No! 
Hey, it's quite a lot to think about, isn't it? Plus, the park's getting a bit more complex, and we might start to see problems popping up. I think we should look at hiring some staff to keep everything running smoothly. That, I mean, do we not have any staff yet? I just realised. <laughs> I had no Speaking idea. Speaking of problems, Whoops. can you do something about all the litter? Ah. It's piling up and really Cleaners. bumming us guests out. Maybe you could hire some janitors to keep on top of it. That'd be a great idea. Here we go, janitor. Clean away. Maybe a couple, yeah, two. Thanks for that. And then some of bins. Of course, litter wouldn't be such a problem if Mr. Thompson had remembered to put some bins in the park. <clears throat> that was deliberate. So we could all have a learning moment. <clears throat> so yes, if you would please put some bins down, your new janitors will make sure they're kept empty. Oh yeah, good save. That's a great save, to be honest. Having obviously, obviously having them near the, the food courts makes makes sense for obvious reasons. How many bins have we got now? Is that enough? Yes. Oh, it's broken. Oh, that's bad. Look at the queue. Oh no! Oh no! Goodness me! One of the rides has broken down. How could this happen in one of my parks? Oh, it's all right. Everyone on the ride and in the queue is getting a refund. <gasps> Refunds? Quick, hire a mechanic. We need to fix that ride and get money flowing in the right direction again. Oh, and make the guests happy, etc. Right. We need to employ a mechanic. <laughs> I love it. She just started, started panicking. Refunds? Refunds? That, that, that's not money coming in. That's going out. There's the mechanic. Yep, I see him. All right, let's speed up time then. Here he comes. Let's get this park up and running again. Or this ride up and running. Oh, people are already on waiting. They are eager. Is it done? It's done. Well, now that our emergency has been dealt with, Yay. the mechanic can spend their time inspecting the rides and reducing the chance of another breakdown. Now, I think it's high time you built a staff room for our staff. I agree. So that they can have a bit of a break. I'm going to pull it, the staff room next to the toilet. I feel a bit bad, but I want to keep it out of the way. It's not a ride. Boom. There we go. And now that we have a staff room, the vendors in our shops will be taking breaks too. So, you should hire some extra vendors to fill in for them. We can do that. Okay. We can do that. Extra vendors. Basically, backup vendors. Oh. Need to hire two as well. Gosh. You've got so many people working for you that there might not be enough space in the staff room anymore. What? You'd better increase the staff room's capacity just in case. So capacity is currently three. We need to increase that to five. Does, does cost a bit you. of money, but it's fine. Oh, you're a bomb manager. Congratulations. Yay. <laughs> Pretty soon, you'll be hiring entertainers to lift the spirits of your guests and hiring security guards to deal with pickpockets and ne'er-do-wells. And, well, partly to stop Lucy constantly cutting in line. You can worry about all of that in your own time, though. Yay, we have a silver star. Yeah, that's one of the main issues right now is the lack of rides. So we need another ride. A coaster? Yes. Is it begun? Yes. Now that the research is in hand, we oh, should wait. take a look at the staff again because their happiness is just as important as the guests' happiness. Go on, take a look at your staff list. Right then. Park management. Overview. And it seems pretty good. 90% is pretty good. I'm very happy with that. Is it ready? Is it ready to be used? There it is. The American Arrow. Well, that was needlessly over <laughs> the top. Oh, but that is quite an exciting new coaster. That could easily hit 4.28 on the Eugene Thrill Rating Scale. People saying it's cheap. Oh, yes. So you can switch between the different cars if you want to. We're going to sit right at the front in seat one, ready to go on this coaster on the PS4 Pro. I am happy right now. Someone next to me? Yeah. Hello. <laughs> Whee! Unlike the guests, you can get off the coaster whenever you like. 
You know, just in case you're feeling a little bit wobbly in the tum tum. You can just dive off. Whee! Here we go, guys. Oh my god. I would be pooping myself right now. Here's my terrible piece of scenery. <laughs> Something literally sunk into the ground. Whoops. Congratulations! Awesome. Uh, oh, I'd slap you on the back, but you look a wee bit queasy. Even so, I think you're ready to start your, no doubt, illustrious career in park management! Guys, what we did it. wonderful news. Because it means you can start paying back the time and effort that Oswald's invested in you. And, if you would let me, I would dearly love to teach you the intricacies of building a coaster from the ground up. Oh, or ground down if it's subterranean. And I'm going to tag along because my season pass gives me free entry anyway. Oh, and to watch you uh, grow as a manager, obviously. The park is officially Not that open. you haven't grown already. Just look at this park. At your park! Full of happy guests, making precious but reasonably priced memories. You should be proud of yourself. But this is just the start. Are you ready for the next step? So we now have three stars. Uh, we could decide to stay on this park, but... Of course, if we end up doing a part two, I want to continue our career, doing some more crazy challenges. Uh, yeah, but thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Go and check out the game linked in the description below. Again, thank you to Frontier for sponsoring this video. Um, I was so excited to hear this is coming out on console. I love the PC version, and they've done a great job of porting it to a console. Very, very excited. So on all the next gen systems, the current gen systems, check it out. See you guys soon. Bye-bye.